Welcome to today's Gospel reading and reflection by Kristen's Crosses for Sunday, April 14th, 2024, the third Sunday of Easter. If you would like to support our ministry, please like and share this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. In a special way, we remember in prayer all the members of our Patreon community and those who have made a gift to support this channel. You can visit the description of this video for more information on ways to support our ministry. Thank you for being a part of our prayer family. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May your people exult forever, O God, in renewed youthfulness of spirit, so that, rejoicing now in the restored glory of our adoption, we may look forward in confident hope to the rejoicing of the day of resurrection. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Today's Gospel reading is from Luke, chapter 24, verses 35 through 48. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. The disciples of Jesus recounted what had taken place along the way and how they had come to recognize him in the breaking of bread. While they were still speaking about this, he stood in their midst and said to them, Peace be with you. But they were startled and terrified and thought that they were seeing a ghost. Then he said to them, Why are you troubled? And why do questions arise in your hearts? Look at my hands and my feet, that it is I myself. Touch me and see, because a ghost does not have flesh and bones as you can see I have. And as he said this, he showed them his hands and his feet. While they were still incredulous for joy and were amazed, he asked them, have you anything here to eat? They gave him a piece of baked fish. He took it and ate it in front of them. He said to them, These are my words that I spoke to you while I was still with you, that everything written about me in the law of Moses and in the prophets and Psalms must be fulfilled. Then he opened their minds to understand the scriptures, and he said to them, Thus it is written that the Christ would suffer and rise from the dead on the third day, and that repentance for the forgiveness of sins will be preached in his name to all the nations, beginning from Jerusalem. You are witnesses of these things. The Gospel of the Lord. Today's Gospel Reflection When we read today's Gospel, it might be difficult for us to put ourselves in the shoes of the disciples because we know this story so well. After all, Jesus did promise that he would raise up again on the third day after he was put to death. Why was it so hard then for his disciples who saw and heard everything that he had done? Why was it so scary for them to understand and believe what had happened? This is why Jesus' first words to his disciples are, Peace be with you. He knew their hearts were confused, and he also knew that they felt guilty for abandoning him. But as long as they were experiencing these emotions, the disciples would not be open and ready to hear Jesus' words to them. So Jesus asks for something to eat, and he sits with them, and he opens their minds and their hearts to understanding the scriptures. He needed them to understand that everything written about him in the law of Moses, the prophets, and the Psalms had to be fulfilled just as it was. This was not just an intellectual exercise. It was an invitation and a preparation for them to now evangelize the whole world. For us, how often are our ears closed to hearing the word of God? How often is Jesus trying to tell us something, but maybe because of our emotions or our stubbornness, or maybe our guilt over the sins that we've committed, we're not open to hearing the word of God, hearing his healing message. But he's always there, isn't he? He's always ready to speak to us if our minds and our hearts are open. Sometimes Jesus will come to us at a time that we do not expect, and other times he's just present to us if we just spend some time in prayer and we invest that time in opening our hearts to him. We know, though, that if we're not alert, if we're not listening for the word of God, we might not notice when he comes to us. And what a horrible loss that would be. And so today, let's pray and be alert because Jesus has risen. 
and he is inviting each one of us to share the good news with others. We invite you to continue praying with us. Please click on the video link for today's prayers. It includes today's rosary in a series of daily Catholic prayers.